Imagine creating a sales funnel in WordPress on a canvas visually like this. In fact, let me just show you what this actually does. So here we have a landing page. When someone comes over here, as soon as they purchase this product, I'm going to assign a tag. I'm going to delay a few minutes here and then send them an email to welcome them. Or even this could be a thank you email with a download link if it's a digital product. And if they come over here to the upsell and purchase the upsell, again, I'm going to assign them a tag and then also send them an email with a download link. Or this could be further instructions on the product that they have just purchased. To make this even more exciting, I can come over here, click on this plus button and anyone that buys this upsell, I can dedicate an email sequence that they get added to and this is all being done behind the scenes. Even ClickFunnels can't do this. Let me show you how to set this all up. So the first thing you need to do is to head over to the link that I've provided in the video description below. This will take you to this page here. And at the moment, there's a special offer, which is 60% off. So I have both products. I have MailMint and I also have WP Funnels. So if I come over here to my downloads, you're going to notice that there's quite a few files that we need to download. So there's the basic and also the pro versions. So over here, I have my MailMint basic. I'll just click here to download. Here, I also have my WP Funnels Basic. And by the way, you can download these from the WordPress plugin dashboard. Next, you want to download the MailMint Pro, which is right here. I'm gonna click on that. And we also have the WP Funnels Pro. So this one here is the one I bought this from AppSumo quite a while ago. Download that. So all in all, there's four files. So what you need to do now is to head over to your website. Installing these plugins is very, very easy. All you have to do is to come over here to plugins and then click on add new. Click on upload. And this is where you would start off with MailMint or you can start off with the funnels. So I'm gonna come over here to my downloads and we can see here we have MailMint. I'm gonna click on that and then click on open. Click install now. And as you can see here, I've already installed one, but I'm just gonna click on cancel and go back. So once you've installed all your plugins, you want to enter the license key. Remember, our funnels use WooCommerce, which is absolutely free. So you wanna make sure that you install WooCommerce by searching over here in your plugins area. Click on install now and activate. So as you can see over here, I've activated mine. The next stage now is to create your products. So I'm gonna come over here. So as you can see, I have product A. So to add a new product, just click here on add new. So for this one here, I'm gonna call this product B. So you can see how easy it is to create our products. This is where you add your description if you want to. And then over here is the pricing. So I'm gonna say uh, $47. You can set your product image over here. But in my case, I don't have any um, decent images here. So I'm just gonna go with this one as my product image. But in your case, you can add your own product image. So once you're done with that, click on publish. So now I have two products created. So now that we've created our products, the next stage is to create our tags. So I'm going to come over here to MailMint. I'm going to click on my dashboard so you can see what it pretty much looks like. So this is the overview of what is happening here. So the first thing I want to do is to come over here to contact and create my tags. So I'm going to come over here. And as you can see, I created this one called bought product A. So I may want to create another one called bought product B. Click on save. So now I have my two tags. If I wanted to, I can also create my mailing lists here. I don't have any. So let me just create a list here for my customers. So this is where I'll be sending occasional offers or even talk about other products on my website. All right, so now that I've uh, created this, I'm just gonna go and save. So what we're gonna do next is to head over now to WP Funnels and then click on add new funnel. So as you can see, we've got quite a few funnels here that are pre-made for us. So all we have to do is to choose one and then we can customize it as we build it. Okay, so the one I'm gonna go with is this basic one here. So I'm gonna click on import. But if you wanted to uh, start from scratch, you can always click here on start from scratch. So this is gonna take a bit of time to create my funnels. Okay, so right now I have my landing page and my checkout page. So the next step now is to add my products to my checkout. So I'm gonna come over here, click on this gear icon. So to add my products, I know my first product is product A. So I'm gonna search for it and select it. Click on add product. And you can see now it has been added and it is $99. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I'm gonna hit save changes and close out of here. 
All right, so I want to add an upsell. Okay, so the next step now is to add my upsell. So I'm going to come over here to my steps and I'm going to go for upsell and choose an upsell to go with this product. Okay, so I'm going to go with, um, let's go with this one here. I'm going to click import and here is my upsell. So I'm just going to create a bit of space here so you can see how this is going to work. All right, so I'm going to connect this now to my checkout. And now I'm going to add my product to my upsell. So I'm going to double click here, click on the gear icon. And now I can search for product B like that, add product. So here it's saying discount. It says original, but I want to go for percentage and I want to give a 50% discount. And now you can see that this has given us a discounted offer. Next, I'm going to hit save and save changes. So how this is going to work now, let me just connect this to the thank you page. Our customer is going to come to our landing page here, click the call to action. And then over here, they're going to, you know, purchase the product. But before they uh, go to the thank you page, they're going to be offered an upsell here for our product B and then finally go to the thank you page. Okay. So if you want to see at any point what this looks like, all you have to do is to click on this eye icon. This is going to open now in a new tab and this is going to be our sales page. So notice that when I click here to say, get it now, it now takes us to the checkout page. Okay. And here's our product. So we fill in our, all our information here. When we click place order, it's going to go to the upsell and then it is going to go to the checkout page, but we're not really interested in the design right now. What I'm really excited about now is we can integrate WP funnels and MailMint right inside this canvas. Check this out. So let's say someone comes over here to this checkout. If I click here on this plus button, notice what happens. I can actually add a tag from here. So I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to add a tag to someone that checks out here. Assign tags. Next, I'm going to come over here and click on add delay. And my delay here is going to be for maybe five minutes. I'm going to add my five here, five minutes, hit save changes. And then I am going to send an email. So let me close out of here. In fact, I haven't added my tag here. Let me go ahead and add my tag. So if I click in here, I can just click on this little pencil icon here. And I'm going to say fields, checkout order, condition is accepted. And then I'm going to choose my tag and say, okay, bought product A. Okay, because remember, this is product A. Okay, that's brilliant. I'm going to hit save changes close out of here. So when someone purchases this product and it's accepted, I'm going to assign a tag called product A. We're going to delay for about five minutes and then I am going to send an email. So I'm going to say send an email and then I'm going to go into the email itself and craft it. Okay. So here it says send an email. So this is where my email goes, mac at makita.com. And this is you know, welcome, or maybe thank you for buying. Okay, so now I can go further and design the email based on the template here. But if you haven't watched my first video, I go into detail and show you how to create these templates. So we're not going to do that for now. I'm going to click on save changes. Okay, fantastic. So let's say now we want to make sure that the person that purchases our upsell also gets the product, right? So I can come here and say, you know what? click on this plus button, and then I'm going to say assign tags. And now I'm going to go in here, click on the pencil icon, and I'm going to say upsell is, then I'm going to say value accepted, select my tags, and I'm going to say bought product B, save changes. I'm going to close out of here. And this time I'm going to click on this plus button and send an email. Right, so my email now pretty much just says, okay, thank you for purchasing product B. Here are the instructions, or you can even go ahead and say download it here if it's a digital product. So what I'm really excited here about is that we can integrate our tags, our emails, our autoresponders straight onto the canvas. This is huge. Even services like um, ClickFunnels don't go as far as this. I mean, this is an all-in-one system. So right away, I can just think of creating a funnel for a product, which then automates the whole uh, system of sending the link to download, applying the tags, sending people to an email sequence. And all this can be done on this canvas. And I'm sure you can agree with me that this 
This right here is awesome. Try it out. The link to that is in the video description below. You're going to need a combination of WP funnels and MailMint in order for you to achieve this. And by the way, I'm using pro versions and the link I have in the video description below has a discount. All right, guys, let me know what you think. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again on the next one. Take care.